Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series you will be learning how you can design an umbrella in Kitsia V5. In the whole tutorial series you will be using the part design, generative shape design and a uh, little bit of wireframe and surface design material editor to complete this uh, particular design right here. To continue our design, come to the umbrella study and uh, you have this curve right here which is not required anymore. And if if any of the curves when you're working if your any of the curve is there which is not required you don't delete it just hide it off because if you delete it it's going to affect uh, some of the surfaces or some of the elements which is required for a future design or which is already a part of our design now let's continue the next thing what you could do is select the fill one and go for circular pattern right here and select the complete crown reference element is Z axis and just uh, increase the instances okay so this is somewhere close that's it click on OK and we got the first one and similarly select the symmetry 2 and go for Z axis complete crown and click on OK and you got the other one so we have uh, a little space on each surfaces between each surfaces what you could do is you could select the multi section surface and select one and two make sure the arrow direction is on the same side click on OK and select that particular multi section surface and go for a circular pattern and select complete crown Z axis and just go ahead and click on OK and your form will be filled alright now we could uh, continue with our design to see more interesting parts of our tutorial so that's all for this particular part keep watching and let me know if you have any doubts on this particular part of the tutorial you could do that by commenting below the video and uh, I'll try to reply that on the same video string and thank you so much and let me know if you have any clarifications and uh, if you have any project inquiries you could write to me at kitsia.prodotuser at gmail.com thank you so much and stay tuned